I love my job, and one of the main reasons is we get to do things for people that are really deserving. Absolutely. So when we got asked to help out this guy we were about to meet, we were straight onto it. Now, his name's David, and the best thing about it, he's got no idea we're coming. Yep, because it's actually David's dad who's called us in to tackle his son's backyard. Hello. Hey. David. Hello. Jason. I'm Adam, Adam. mate. That's we're from Better Homes and Gardens. Yeah. And we're yeah. going to do a makeover on your backyard. Nice. Happy? <laughs> yeah. Mates, uh, the backyard needs some work? Yeah, just a little bit. Got some plans? Yeah. Oh, well, we can use your plans, <laughs> our know-how, and yeah. Yeah, change your backyard for you. Cool. Nice size backyard, mate. Yeah. Beautiful. Hey, uh, you've nice. got a new lawn down. Yeah, three months old. Yeah, nice. Now, mate, I've got to ask. You're a young bloke. Yeah. You've lost your arm. Yeah. Do you mind me asking how it happened? Uh, workplace accident uh, six years ago, going on now. So pretty much straight out of school? Yeah, one year since I finished. So it's bloke, yeah. pretty daunting to be a young bloke in the workplace and then buying your first house. Yeah. And then you've got to, you know, contend with this. Yeah. When you try and do stuff around the house, are you, like, you know, leaning on your parents and your mates and your brothers and all yeah. that sort of stuff? If they're willing to lend a hand. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, they've always been great help. Um, if I need it, they'd come and help me. Now, this is the space we're going to work on. All right. What's your impressions of it? Well, I need... Barbecue, really. It's, it's a bit daggy, isn't it? Outdated, yeah. Pavers are a bit daggy. I reckon a nice new deck here, raised up a little bit, not as big a step out. Yeah, sort of connect the two. Yeah. So maybe a shade cloth over the top, yeah. some new furniture. Yeah. Obviously a garden bed here or there. Yeah, that'd be nice, yes. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Mate, I, uh, I think the Barbie's seen a better day. No, nah, that's not dangerous. Not at all. <laughs> they definitely made it solid. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't go to design school, did they? <laughs> not at all. Meet your makers. Yeah. Oh. Now, mate, we are going to paint a few things. All right. Even the stuff we paint needs a good clean, but yeah. it's PVC boarding. It's too hard to paint, it just needs a clean. So before the accident, were you left or right-handed? I was right-handed, yes. So you've had to learn to sign your name again? Everything. And when you're doing something like this that's repetitive, yeah. I mean, I can swap over. Yeah, get RSA, but yeah. still, I'm used to it now. Stronger. Stronger. Good attitude. Well, hello, hello. Hey, your dad, the man that dobbed you in. How you going, kid? Good, Jason. Good. Hello. Good day, mate. Mate, I, I hate to bring it up, but six years ago, Dave had an accident. You know, what was that like as a father? Well, it was devastating for the whole family, actually. Uh, for me, I got the phone call to say he'd been taken to Liverpool Hospital. And uh, just to not know what was really or what happened, I went over there and when I got told, I was just, I was beside myself. Just everything fell apart just for that moment. And David, what happened? Uh, I was working in a recycling factory, basically. Uh, jumper sleeve got caught between conveyor belt, roller, dragged me in, and there you go. So you could have been a couple of inches away from not being here at all as yeah, well? Yeah, got the back of my head as well. So in a way, you're lucky. Yeah. And how have you found the support of your parents? Honestly, they've just been great. Um, free rent when I was living <laughs> there before, here. Yeah, I'd just like to thank my parents for free rent for all those years yeah. as well. But here, I've just realised there's only two scrubbers and I need to do some shopping at Bunnings. So yeah. you guys get busy and I'll get shopping. Well Back done. soon. See ya. All right, boys, enough with the cleaning. I reckon that looks good, but oh. time to start doing some heavy lifting. We'll, we'll get the pavers up or what? All right. Are they going in the bin? Are they going straight around the side? Well, look, I'll tell you, you can't have all of them. Because so I'm putting down a deck system here, and these pavers will come in handy for me too. Good. All right? Good. So we'll go half halves. Take whatever you need. Is that a deal? Well done. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. Boys, that's the uh, clean-up done. No. That's great. It's a good job now for the exciting part, the build. While the boys are getting stuck into the house, I'm heading out for a spot of shopping. <sighs> I wish I was there to help them with all that hard yakka, but someone's got to do this. G'day, mate. How are you going? Good, thanks. Hello. Hi, how are you today? Good, thanks. Can I please have a small latte with one sugar? No problem. It's very important that when you're shopping, you have a clear mind. You're not distracted. Best way to do that, start with the coffee. This is a small latte with one sugar. Thank you. So we're getting David, an entertaining area. What's more important than anything? A barbecue. It's a rite of passage for an Aussie bloke. And rather than getting a standalone one, I'm going to use the skills of my mate Adam, who's a chippy, and we're going to build one in. That means for less money, I can get a better barbecue. It's got to be the right one. Ooh. It's not going to fit. It's heavy. Maybe I should have bought Adam. Oh. These screens are great. They're maintenance free, sun tough. They really dress up an eyesore, like a water heater or an old fence. And I reckon a deck needs some form of shade. The shade sale is the quickest, easiest way to do it. And if he's getting a new Barbie, he's going to have to learn how to cook. So, best thing to do, you're going to burn it, smother it with herbs. It'll always taste good. And in the garden, they smell great too. Now for the fuzzy wuzzy was a bear. This will make it perfectly. Well, Julux call it was a bear, but fuzzy wuzzy was a bear sounds funnier. Well, if I've timed it right, all the pavers should be up. But the reality is, I've done all the hard work. It's a nice wide open space now. Look good with the deck, eh? Fantastic. Oh, good Perfect job. Perfect timing. You got the pavers up. And you made me a cuppa. You're making me a cuppa? Sorry. <laughs> I haven't had time to stop. I've been shopping. Traffic was atrocious. Well, as your punishment, you can help me paint that fence there. What else uh, are we going to do? Uh, me and Kim will get onto the deck. All right, let's go. Now, you know how when you look at all the paint names when you choose them for the house, they've got long and complicated names that sound beautiful, like sea breeze and yeah. sky mist. Well, we're painting this fence black. Oh. And no, I haven't forgotten there was a bear. That's going somewhere else. We're at deck, we're using Good Times Decking, which is basically a prefab frame that's been cut to size. So all that's left to do is to screw it together and put the legs on. Then you're ready to put it in place. Yeah. 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 Oop, now Ooh. your hands are full. I, I, think, I think we just oh, went yeah, through. sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think we're just going through the house here. <laughs> Danny's loving the good times. She's loving it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. This system is so easy. The only thing you want to remember, if you're working on soft ground like sand, grass or dirt, make sure you put a paper underneath the feet before you level it up and get it ready. Otherwise, if you've got concrete, you can just put it down, level it up, and you're ready to deck. Told you it was an easy deck to build. Oh. Here you have a go. All right. For the decking, we've chosen Eco Deck. Now, this is going to be easy for David to maintain. You don't have to oil it. It's weather resistant and it won't rot. The colour we've chosen is greystone, which is going to match in perfectly with everything else we're doing. The downpipes were one colour. They look like baby poo brown. These frames were bronze, that was silver, the back door was teal, it was a mismatch. But with the Wazza Bear, it's come up very nice. We even call it contemporary. Fuzzy Wazzy Wazza Bear. The best thing about this deck, the rain doesn't affect it. Unlike normal timber decks, you have to oil them once a year to protect it from the weather. The deck has really given David's backyard a lift but we've got a bunch of cool ideas still to show you. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this fence, but we're trying to modernise this backyard for David. He's young and vibrant. And these screens are going to do exactly that. And the contrast between the light colour behind it and the black at the front, 
Well, it looks like it's lit up. On the deck, there's going to be a barbecue area, so you definitely need somewhere to sit down. So I'm making a bench, which is just square frames, and it's tied together by a long length of tree to pine, which is great, because it means you can make it as long or as short as you want. Man, that's a good looking frame. Hey, it's good air. I'm walking backwards. You taught me well, Jace. <laughs> Boss, happy. What's going on here? Hey, just got a seat for you, mate. Mate, we're putting the barbie in, and I want to make it look like it's floating. This is the seating. It's going to rest on the corner of that. And to tie it all in, we're using the same decking board. They'll look good. They will, mate. All right. So we're going to uh, clad it in place. Tools of choice. Good times. Jeez, that's some weight. This is going to be the new sleek looking Barbie. And if you remember back to what was here, it took us ages to knock it down. But this is going to be modern and sleek. Best thing about it, it's going to look like it's cantilevered. We do have these two black posts here, but they fade away into the fence. So it looks like it's floating. We're going to beef it up and put another layer on it. And the Barbie will go here where these three joists are. All right, less talking, more doing. Now, we've boxed this out for a couple of reasons. It makes it look more substantial, and it gets us a nice serving height for when you're cooking. Jase, we're ready to clad, mate. Sweet. <laughs> for the cladding, I'm going with a spotted gum. It's going to be a nice contrast to the decking. Once this is oiled up, it's going to look like a big chopping board. Mate, it was fun. It was real. But I'm going to leave you to it, because I'm going to tackle a guard. Thanks, mate. So, mate, we're going to concentrate on two gardens. This one across the back of the house, because it's All still right. a little bit stark down the bottom. And then that one that you can see under and behind where the barbies go. All right. What we've got here are plants that have all got a set size. Things that are only going to get to sort of 1.2 to 800 mil when they're fully grown. Yeah. Which means we can fill this up. Yep. And the only thing you need to do is grab a pair of secateurs and go off and take off the dead flower occasionally. That's good, low maintenance. Now, laying out plants is a bit of an art form. Yeah. Do you want to have a crack at it and see if you've got the flair or do you want to follow the leader? I'll follow the leader. Right, let's start with the potato. How good are these ones? These are an acacia, so they're a waddle and they're called limelight. They look like you've been pruning them all the time, but yeah. you never ever prune them. That's good. You like that, mate? I love it. All right, let's start planting. For the barbie, I'm using 15 mil compressed cement sheeting, which is going to act as a heat shield. You want to make sure that you don't have any of the timber touching the barbie, because that will be a fire hazard. You got Adam? I brought another hand. Hey. My brother. Hello, mate, how are you? Hey. What's happening? Michael. Happened? Michael, come, mate. Nice to meet you. Coming to give Dave the other hand. <laughs> yes. Stop it. Good luck. <laughs> Very good. What do you like of painting? I like to think I'm OK. OK? You no, know, yeah. All oh, right, well, we're going to be putting a clear coat on this to finish it off. OK. You just want to make sure that you do one board at a time, long strokes, because you don't yep. want to get any overlapping marks, all right? OK, too easy. Beautiful. I'll do this little one, and you can do this one, yeah? <laughs> And last but not least, the floating Barbie. Yeah, how good's this Matador Barbie? I might have to take it to my place. <laughs> I think we need to pop this down, mate. <laughs> the little garden bed behind the Barbie is a separate microclimate to the rest of the garden. Because we've built this, we've created an extra bit of shade. It's got the shade of the fence and the shade from the tree above it. So we need shade-loving plants. The ones that you're going to see when you walk out the door are called Silver Lady. They're ferns that'll clump up. They'll grow out that way, but they won't get much taller. And then at the back, we've got potostrum. You've got the beautiful dark stems, the light foliage, and that's a great contrast to that screen we put up. You've made this nice and strong. Beautiful. Final piece of the jigsaw, mate. What do you reckon we try this Barbie? Fire it up! <laughs> <laughs> not you, Danny. Danny. The Barbie. You're not happy. <laughs> Barbecue time. That's fantastic, mate. You've got uh, all the family here to christen the yeah. barbecue. So, mate, what do you think the thing is out here that's probably the game changer, you know, that you'll use more than anything? Barbecue, most definitely. 
Most certainly this deck, it's opened up the whole area. It's great, honestly, I love it. You can do my place next. <laughs> We've changed one. trades, mate. We've become uh, <laughs> chefs overnight. <laughs> I can't believe your whole family are vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs>